So this is the Ursa Cine 17K65. This is a product that's in development. We'll see this shipping later in the year, but we're showing it in a working environment here at the show to give customers an understanding of what that would mean if we're working towards 17K resolution and 65 mil in terms of production capability. The camera itself is built around the same camera hardware and architecture as the Ursa Cine platform. It's using the same RGBW sensor technology as the Ursa Cinema 12K, but extending that out to a much fuller width for broader, larger resolution for more immersive IMAX style capability for creative productions. The same as the Ursa Cine 12K family, we are using a similar body, principally introducing as well our new M2 recording media. So these media modules give you high performance recording. So even when we're using Blackmagic RAW at Q0 or high compression rate, we can then record that directly to the, the camera itself. So we have a sustainable high speed data rate recording system for something as high level as 17K. Around the camera, it will support a PL system for lens mounts, as well as Hasselblad lenses, which will be able to use those larger format and medium format lenses, which will give us full coverage for the 17K resolution itself. Ursa Cine also introduces, for professional performance, connectivity on the front of the camera, so we have Fisher and we have Limo connectors, so that you can now connect remote controls or any kind of motorized lens systems as well that operators want to create. We have a side monitor here for production management, so that when we're working with the camera on dollies or cranes, your EVF is usually going to be used by your main camera operator or the DOP, but you've got production monitoring on this side of the camera as well. In terms of output for the camera production village, we have two 12 gig SDI outputs, which will give us a 2160p 4K reference, so we can output to any kind of monitoring around on set, as well as output if this was a remote camera that you wanted to do transmission of 4K as well. We also have a 10 gig e-port on this camera. This is a really important update that we've introduced to the Ursa Cine cameras. This means that we can connect the cameras to a network system and have a collaborative workflow engagement from set and camera into post-production. Now this can utilize Blackmagic Cloud and we can send files and media directly from the camera into post-production. So our connectivity and workflow from camera into DaVinci Resolve is nearly instant. As you're shooting with the camera, you can be sending proxy files across the network into DaVinci Resolve projects, which then transfer after at a slightly slower speed the high-res files and have an editorial process and a grading or a LUT and DIT process in set directly over the network as well. Power-wise, we have a 12-volt connection if you're running from mains, but we've also upgraded the power systems on the Ursa Cine cameras, both on the 12K and here on the 17K, so that we're using the standard B-mount. So this means we're stepping up into 24-volt, so that gives us you know, greater power draw to drive a larger resolution and higher format sensor, as well as providing up to 48 volts on the front of the camera for those accessories. Just going around to the other side of the camera, we have now a fully articulated screen. So we have this production monitor on the side of the camera that gives us control over all of the camera settings, but can be pushed back into the monitor if you wanted to, if you're working to the side, or still allows us to see it if you're operating from the back of the camera. We also introduced a new EVF system at uh, NAB earlier in the year for the Ursa Cine cameras, and this is usable with the 17K. So this EVF is a high quality, full color um, HD uh, OLED. Um, so it's very high precision with a high quality diopter uh, with multiple mounting options. You can see here we brought it to the back of the camera. We're using an eyepiece level as a standard for us. So if we were placing this camera on a dolly or a crane, the operator can set it at a comfortable level. The connectivity is very simply just done over a single USB cable. So this goes back to one of the USB ports on the camera. We're sending data, we're sending power, and we're sending all the video control to the EVF as well. So as a, as a camera platform, we've created with Ursa Cine a very operational, friendly, adaptable system, but without compromising the performance of the quality. And going across to it being 17K, we're talking really about what we can then offer at those higher formats when we're working at 65 mil IMAX equivalent and the precision and the performance of our RGBW sensor systems at those higher resolution standards as well.